We are 68% of the way through the story. Wow, how did that know I picked up the controller? I didn't even press a button. 68%. Which, honestly, isn't that the percentage I said we were at at the start of last stream? I'm pretty sure it was. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure I was like, I don't want it to only have 32% left. Well, whatever. <laughs> I, I completed nothing between last or the start of last stream and the end of last stream. Wait, who are you? Oh, I do know you. My my bad. Oh, I'm sorry I forgot you. Are, you. Um, thanks so much for coming. It's been a the, while. Uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. Also, I am just itching to play today, so potentially a long stream ahead. Um, I got, I just, I've been dying to play this. <laughs> I would love for the game to go on forever and me perpetually to be at 68%, so the game would never end. I am very happy that that is what has happened in the last week. Uh, it's been a week since I played. Anybody home? <gasps> oh no, Torgal always knows. Oh, but this must okay. be our unwanted visitor. Okay. For some reason, to go. I was thinking this was a hunt. The Ariman. Did we already do one of those. Technically, he's called unwanted visitor, though. So, ah, oh, stream is dropping frames. All right, let's get down to business. Okay. You know what? Let's get down to even more business. Oh, we did the mini stagger. I always forget. It's fine. It's it's really fine. We're gonna stagger you. Oh, right, that's the hold at one. Gouge. I love a gouge. Partially because I just like the word gouge so much. Okay. Eh, give me my little wispies back. Doom! Oh! I, yeah, I have fought somebody with Doom before. That didn't... It didn't do what I expected. Doom. In one of my hunts today, again I walked too far in the wrong direction and it cancelled the hunt for me. And the monster went back to its starting point and had full health. So, I need to not let that happen anymore. Kill me, boy. We're close to a stagger. There we go. Gouge. Hold it. Okay, and hold it again. Whee! Got him. My default play style is B and Phoenix, so I have the warp move. And then when I'm not warping, when I'm using a special move, then I switch to the others. But when I'm not using a special move, my default is stay in Phoenix, also so that I know where I am at all times <laughs> in the cycle. The things I do for you, Mid. Aww. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Mid. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, I want to go talk to Mid. See that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. I'm very hyper today. I like this. I feel like there's hair in my mouth. There we go. 
But I'm enjoying um, figuring out the combat system and, and doing different things with it so much. It's very fun. And like from the beginning, it was it started out like really satisfying. It's only gotten more and more uh, satisfying. The more I play and the more moves I get. I didn't give Rama a fair chance. I will admit to that. I should use him again at some point. Um, I don't need to be this way. Also, I think I've learned that if there's not a little um, uh, like golden yellowish symbol there, that means there's nothing new. Yeah, I guess it seems like elements aren't as big of a thing as they they are in some other Final Fantasy games. Like, you don't need to figure out someone's weakness, necessarily. You can pretty much um, use this a, a, like similar strategy for most fights. Not, not every fight has the same strategy, but it's kind of like, you know, you want to find a way to stagger and then do as much damage as you can. What, 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 what? Oh, you're underneath me. This always happens. Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in. There have been poison moves too. To, is there no poison? Uh, has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. <gasps> Thank you. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop. It's too but quiet for me. Those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. <laughs> which is why you need proper shield in. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing. I enjoy her eyes. accent a lot. Well, a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight, and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. <gasps> Hippocrates. Of course, Tomes. Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it. Right away. Right away, let's go. Yeah, I, I have seen a poison move, at least like by name. I have not noticed it actually poisoning me. So it could just be like they have moves called poison dance or whatever it is. I don't think it's actually poison dance, but poison something. Um, I don't actually know if it does anything. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine. Oh, okay, now I remember all of this. What are these notes around? We're making a ship, right? Is she this has some specific requirements for the materials? The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the Does that say Z O M G while also being light <laughs> enough not to sink it? As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. How wise. Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet... We have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> pitch. What a reading of the word pitch. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragon fire. The knowledge huh? of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. Uh. Ooh, 
Ooh. Everyone just staring at each other awkwardly. We do. <laughs> I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Wait. Always. Are they well, gonna have me choose between the good. girls? Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands. Wait. Oh. I know what they're doing. <laughs> okay. I am pretty sure that it's going to be canon that he and Jill get together, but this is them trying to kind of have it both ways. Like, you can pick the other one. But in the end, shielding that guards no. against even the most ferocious flames. We could have done with some of that on Drustinus. I doubt I would have survived that place with or without it. A trip to Northreach, though, I think either of us could handle. Is there a choice? Absolutely not. But who do I actually? Oh, I I, I talk to you. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like so Final like Fantasy VII. Which one do you talk to decision. first? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? I know what they're doing. I know what they're doing. Jill, you're with me. <laughs> Very well. I have to choose Jill. So then. I've been waiting for find? more moments between. I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items Jill. may seem mundane. <laughs> They have potent effects that She's are like, what is with this basic quest? Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set Northreach. up Northreach. Join me there when you're ready. I'm ready. Well, until then. No, now. <laughs> Until now. Oh, oh, chill. You can never tell. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What Wait. am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find Great, but why are we splitting we up? We can meet by the gate when we're finished. The whole point was to do this together. That's why I chose you. Fine, fine. Up. You'll not find a Fresh cut. Oh, I do love these accents sometimes. Some of them are so juicy. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Making me purchase them? Wait, how many garlics do I need? Ah, yes. You only have one, so I'm gonna assume I need one. What do you want? I want oh, your nuts. Take it. Thanks for nothing. That's everything. Thanks for nothing. I just. Hang on. Keep them pilgrims nice and chilled. Did you find everything? I did. Yeah. That feels very much like 14, where you'd have to like actually select the things to hand them over. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. We're just going straight back? But before we head back, <gasps> would you walk with me a while? Oh, yes I would. She looks so pretty in the sun. Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. 
It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? Oh, how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics? Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go Ooh, good boy. away and we'd have to go running after him. Oh, oh, him would we, boy? Torgal. Was there you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. Oh! I would. Thank you. Sharing a pie. And I saw some bread. So did Torgal. <gasps> she brought us a picnic. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried oh, that sounds delicious. Of dry cured ham and it was just... She made us a oh. bread basket. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry. It's just... Oh, you're right. I this really is do so feel cute. Like a child again, being here with you. Oh, our picnic date. Live. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? What? No. No, Jill. This is how life should be, and it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done, oh. and we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Aww. Thank you, Clive. That was so sweet. Give me more of that, always. Love that. They ever sit down? <laughs> well, I suppose we best be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take that care. was so cute. I love it. I will. You too. Oh, but why do you, why can't we just be together? Why do you have to keep leaving? Ah. Okay, so back we go, mid. Five. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. But like there they could have kissed. I felt I felt good about that one. But obviously it wasn't gonna have their first kiss behind a choice where you might not even choose Jill. But it did feel like the right moment. I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. I mean you can't have it be like during something terrible and sad. Sorry, Tarya, but you know, you know how it is, right? How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. Aww. I was just explaining to Tarya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. Oh, have you? <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of Why course. do they always take Jill away? Why? It is funny how Torgal is Jill's, but Torgal never leaves my side. Ever. Oh, and Clive, thank you. It was nice just being with you. Oh, breaking me. It appears our work here is almost at an end. Ooh. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other, followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. 
Thank you, Abokuji. Jill throws shade if you don't choose her? That's amazing. I, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do the Platinum. I want to finish the game first so that I can look at the trophy list without spoiling anything for myself. I just started reading books that don't have any pictures um, in. But I, yeah. So if it's, if I have to for the Platinum, I will. I don't know how tough this Platinum is. If it's got anything close to needing to do a thousand jump ropes in Final Fantasy IX, then it's not for me. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking. They made her, like, as cute as they possibly could. She is adorable. The heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. It's not too tough. I'm okay, cool. I, I'll look into it. Right, I don't mind hard bosses, all these bits together. but I don't like is like tedious chores that you have to do over and over. I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Does she have two scarves? Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, well, She's the Cindy we should have gotten in 15. She is. Some precision wallabin. <laughs> oh. Scarf stream. I know. She's a scarf queen. I would love to cosplay mid. Ooh, that would be fun. <sighs> this music, it always gets me. It's finished. It's finally finished. Ah, that's so hype. Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> what can I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... The deceit! <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang and Canva can build the rest. Okay. Oh, she's so cute. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Aw, what are you daydreaming about? Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. Oh. So the worst came to the worst, and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black. We might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, Gorgeous. one last chance just in case we needed it. Oh. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want it to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. She's such a Sid. I'm working Love on her. That. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. It's amazing it's called the Enterprise as well. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... Fine. You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. Oh, There's here we go. One thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Oh, aye, aye, Captain. 
Also, is the game loud enough? I had turned it down earlier, because it maybe the music was too loud. That's it then. Yeah. Sid. Reckon you might be just the man to help me out of a bit of bother. If you've a mind to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. I don't actually understand this request. I imagine okay. Ty could get some use out of this alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right. Why not? Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. Okay. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get older some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> I, I, I saw a billet on the hunt board for one just the other day. Ah. Uh, myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame and exactly my So forte. that hunt doesn't appear Ooh, until you hand. take this off, I assume. All right. I'll see what I can do. We'll see what we can do. And, and a good hunting, eh? Thank you. Because you want the story in DLC to feel like it matters, but you don't want the game to feel incomplete without it. I don't know what the solution is for DLC. <laughs> Ask about bomb sightings. I love your noises you make, Nectar. I am on the hunt for a bomb king. Yes, I am. Bomb king. The croc in San Brack. Oh, I didn't... Oh, this happened to me before, I think, where I keep... I think I just have to go do the hunt now. I don't think this step of the hunt is going to... Or of the quest is going to fix itself. Okay. Um... Does it say anything other than the croc? No, I don't think so. Ah. About Blackthorn. Uh, cheers for your help dragging Blackthorn out of the dumps the other day. Thing is, I reckon he's gone and thrown himself back in, judging by the droop of his jowls lately. So I'm thinking maybe it weren't just the leather that was on his mind. Maybe there's other demons jabbing their pitchforks into his privates. Ah! I know you're a busy bloke, but next time you find yourself free... Maybe we could go and ask the old bastard what's got him so hot and bothered. Assuming it ain't just the forge. Yes. I accept. Hopefully it's nothing. But I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. That's like the only time they've tried to get out of voice acting. By just having us send a letter. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you. And you might still be doubting your craft. Even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. I hope it's love. I hope it's romance. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just... well... Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. I don't was, think it's romance. A sword. An odd-looking thing with a single edge blade. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. <laughs> so that's what's troubling you. Not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How'd you get an edge that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it... We could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. 
That's about a size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Okay. All right. Welcome. We can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. Don't think this was the plus quest, so I don't think he's gonna give me something good for this. But grateful for it. I like him. Thank so you. we'll help him. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. I also like Karen, so anything that leads me to Karen, a good side quest. Wait, is this the plus quest? Ooh, boy. You're looking well, Karen. What do you want? Out with it. I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. Single-edged and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Can oh, you thanks, Chai. It? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? I suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. <laughs> she always comes one. around. Delmechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favourite clients. <laughs> Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dallamil, where I left him. Mm. Thank you, Karen. Oh. And he's a touch eccentric. If you take my meaning. Oh, no. Wait, it's the guy. What's his name? I already forget his name. I just met him last stream. My reputation will be ruined. Ruined! Calm yourself, Lord Ignac. I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. Yourself a mischief? Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Okay, no, it is not who I thought Allow it was going to be. Allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim, get rid of the filthy oaf this instant! Filthy oaf? Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made a Okay, with a that does sound coin. annoying. Coin the I'd be grumpy too. Soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, you know Lady Karen. Oh, does yes, Lady Karen also Lady have Max. many friends in many places? And I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you should. JG, I this. feel the same way. I suppose you saw where the thieves went. It's funny though. Last no. stream, I started the stream no, at sixty-eight percent completion. Inquiries made on Today, I also started the stream at sixty-eight percent completion. So I hope that just continues to be bed. a pattern. The Every game never ends. Every coin in Dalamal is set to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. Then that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell, and best of luck. Hello. We've got okay. Come on, lads, let's tear the bastard's head off. All right, let's do this. While that's going on, I'll do this. You are the only one who has not joined my side clone of death. Innkeeper, what's your deal? Fine, I'll just 
deal with you myself, I guess. We have a tornado. We do. Very, very good. Very good. Oh, and staggered. Gouge, gouge, gouge. Oh, my stagger was very quick. Okay, there we go. Close. Are the other guys dead? we go. He's taken care of. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right. Let's get it back to Delamel. I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make <gasps> your acquaintance. Wyvern. A name, indeed. Aww. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. A master Wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that sword. Ooh. It was made in the Outer Isles, far beyond the Twins, and is used exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Well, Each sword that would is be made great. That one perfect stroke, and for that stroke only, they crack upon a second blow. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> a fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. It is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign. To this great realm of ours and that is the key the secret ingredient why when it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered take this together with my regards what is it the very stone of which i spoke far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself and a far more fitting place. Okay, okay, this should make him very happy. Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. Radim, we mustn't dawdle. I marked it exactly correct. I'm so good at maps. Oh, Bomb King. Alrighty. Look what we have here. Coronation. Greetings, Your Majesty. Okay, first. Nice try. Okay. Oh, wait, you don't even have a stagger? Wait, that, but that means I can't stagger you. All my straps are stagger. Ooh. Ooh, but I will treat you like a baseball. Get 
get out of that, maybe. Maybe not. Ooh, you've separated. Now's the time. Now is the time. Alright, you bombs. Take care. Kill me, my boy. Oh, right. I'm in Garuda. Again. Okay. Might as well. I'm lost without a stagger bar. <laughs> so I'm just using all my moves. <laughs> You're a catch. Aw, you are. Without my tornado. Uh, sick of Uh, gouge him. To me, boy. There's a good boy. Oh, jeez, that never gets old. Oh, boy. Tornado will be soon! Tornado, let's go! Let's go! Such enunciation. Okay, where are the bombs? Okay. Sometimes things do get lost. Um, gouge. Okay, well, it worked out. That's fine. Oh, oh I love the, like, slow motion animation. Ooh. Okay, well, that hurt. We got him! Not a very clean fight, but we got him. Ooh! <gasps> we leveled up. Nice! Sometimes I, I am- I do play a bit risky, because I don't want to use my potions. I'm really upset we can't get cure. But that the enemies can. This looks like the stuff. Okay, so now we get to go back and get our good stuff. Sorry for the wait. But hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about our sword then. You know, I don't I do enough of Torgal that. abilities. I mostly just only ask him to heal me when I need it, or if I've run out of moves, I move moves. <laughs> when I run out of moves, I'm like, Torgal, go fight. That's like the only time I use him. I won't make a copy now. I'll make something much better. Ooh. I'm sure the curse breakers will be delighted. Just don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> now you worry about me, sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age, and I'll still be here when you're long gone. Hey, thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one, August too. And it's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Do I have the ingredients? What do you need? Use the forge. So, what would it be? Um, craft. Uh, 
Ah, there you are. No, I need whatever that hide is. Oh, but it's so good. It looks so good. I also never got this one. Okay. Anything else? All right there, Sid. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I Don't even worry about it. That's the stuff. And plenty of it, too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. You're a gent, Sid. Let Aww. no one say otherwise. <laughs> then, let's get this contraption up and running. Let's do it. Mysterious sounds. Sometime later. There we have it. The Telemon Malembic. And it works just like the chief said it would. <sighs> Very impressive. Yes, it is. <laughs> Since the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Aww. <laughs> so cute. Let me take a look at that bag of yours. The one you keep your potions <gasps> in. Bring Wait a minute. There's some magic on that. I've what been waiting for this. Magic. Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. Are they going to let me hold another potion? To new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Ah, I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen up enough. Yes, we can. Too. Well, it can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's oh. the spirit. It can't hurt to try. I want this. I'll only be a mo. <gasps> yes, we have a magic band. No, bag expander. <laughs> Just a mo. I love it. Well, what do you reckon? It certainly feels more Ooh, flexible. flexible. Right, told you. Thank you. I think. What, what do you mean? I, I think. Thank you <laughs> for supporting me. Clive is like, I refuse letters. to give you a full Without thank you, you until I've thoroughly tested this. Discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your back. And I'm telling you. There's plenty more where that came from. That's a bit creepy. <laughs> if there's so much more, why don't you give me more? I'll take more. Inventory increased. Oh, everything's gone up. Potions have gone up by two and high potions. Oh, I love it. I'm so happy. Yes! What is this? Oh. Nothing. It's a nothing. And now... We did our... Wait. Is there another side quest on the reading table? Oh. Oh! Okay. Karen's got it. Oh, Karen, I... How did I miss this? Lives. Oh, I love how she is so um, brief. She keeps things brief. <laughs> Something ain't right with that. Oh no. Is this the one that's gonna make me cry? Uh, when it please, oh, it pleases your lordship, come pay me a visit at the toll. What could be wrong with Togo? You seen well enough when I last saw him. I will do the Atorkel quest, though. <laughs> Not this one. Okay, I've been informed there's a Torgal quest that is going to likely make me cry. I got your note. You think something's wrong with Torgal? So you can read. Congratulations. Now is not the time, Karen. I said some weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. I used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at him. Didn't like him. Which is why I'm of a mind that his mind's on somewhere else. No! You've been him too hard, have you? 
No harder than usual. Are we doing a quest to find the perfect treat for Torgal? Do you need a rest? What was it you said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose things have been different since Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? Well, we're gonna learn Perhaps. about Torgal at least. That's great. I oh my pup. Hi, doggy. I do love that we get a dog with us in this game. Be this way. Yeah. Oh, pet Torgal. Did Torgal come with me? We'll pet him as soon as we can. Lawsman, I need to ask you about Torgal. Something's not right with him. He isn't ill, is he? Everyone's so. so worried. They're always like, but according to not Lady sick, Karen, is he? he seems to have lost his appetite, which is certainly a new development. She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. Is he just stressed out? I rather oh. think she might be right, though not about his appetite. All canids are instinctively inclined to crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within. And I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. True, I true. Is not a lack of appetite. He is so frost, cool. But a surfeit of it. If we assume that his newfound magics require additional nourishment to sustain, it may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no longer sufficient. Oh. The all habitually prey upon far larger animals whose bones may yield altogether different nutrients. As to hey. where one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that graze the meadows of eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. I don't recall ever seeing any that large. Are you about to go on another hunt for Torgal? The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of the highlands for fear of predators. The last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about took place near Cressida. Cressida? It was long before the village was abandoned. Okay. And so, it seems like a good place to start. Good hunting, Clive. Good hunting. Aha! I was thumbing through the hideaway ledgers at Otto's behest and might have come across something that might need your attention, maybe. And by that I mean immediately, you know where I'll be. Okay. Wait. That one's done. We're in, okay, we're in the process. Oh, I didn't, I didn't say yes, sorry. Okay. Trouble with the ledges. Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? Of course the Torkoal request has his face. Oh, mid and her ship. I'm I'm really hyped for this. Clive. Did you get my letter? That's He's a cutie. I'm here. Shh. Otto won't be listening. Love this. <laughs> Is this better? A little. Listen. I've some bad news. It turns out the hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders. <gasps> and it may be my fault. <laughs> but I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, that square turned out to be more of a circle. <laughs> Zero. Zero, you might say. I can straighten it out, I swear, but... It's going to take some time. This is and wonderful. I'm going to need help keeping it from Otto. Be late for that, I'd say. There you are. What a surprise. Uh oh. So let me get this straight. You forget to pay our lenders what they're due. And instead of coming straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. No. Deal out of the hole you've dug for yourself. Clive. The man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. And you thought this was a cunning plan. I feel um, bad. I feel really well, bad. He got caught. Who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. 
and well, Lady Karen. These are lenders. Only five hundred talents. We owe three of our most trusted friends five million. I do have a really rich uncle. Each. Five million each. They lent us the bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see. And, well, uh, I must have made some sort of oversight. Oh. Those ledgers were my responsibility. And it was my decision to entrust them to you. This is my fault. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No, we don't. And no, you won't. We've lightened Lord Rossfield's purse enough. After the King's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Besides, we'll need to learn to stand on our own if we're going to make this work. All right. But that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. Is there anything I can do to help? There might be. I... As you I'd rather just give you money. Than the dame. Rocks. 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 He says, worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. A little something Sid and I set aside for when times got lean. Oh, wow. And I reckon 15 million in overdue debt probably qualifies. I just hope our associates are into our savings. Than yours. I'm sure they will be. Should be me making the rounds, really. But you know how it is with this place. Orders to bark, asses to wipe and all that. I know. Which is why I don't mind going in your place. Go. Do you know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because you'd rather Lady Karen killed me. Because I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. Yes. Oh. What? Wait. Oh. Uh, I suppose this is goodbye then. Don't worry. I'm sure Karen will understand. Really? Do you think so? No. I don't. I mean, she's not going to murder you. <laughs> um, okay. Just deliver this stuff. I can manage that. Which means I get to visit Martha again. I do love Martha. Martha, Martha, Martha.